Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. Thank you for taking the time to look at this very short course. I'm going to send you in the next several days, about one every other day, an email that has a video just like this associated with it. The first video will show you how to do it. It'll take about three minutes. The second video will tell you why it works and explain to you why something this easy and this simple is so powerful. And the third one will teach you how to put this into practice, into your own practice, into your own life, and also the ins and outs of scheduling this adjustment. Now, I have delivered just this information, just the information that I'm going to give to you, I'm going to give this data to you, to over 1,500 graduate doctors, and all of those doctors are currently practicing this. They will use this technology anywhere from 10 to 15 times a day at about 60 to 80 bucks an adjustment essentially and have done so for the last 15 years. The reason that we're giving this technology to you, which is essentially the body of the material in Module 1, is so that you will apply it to the animals that are going to benefit from it. Now we have a huge course that's associated with this basic technology, but we would like to give you all of this information in Module 1. At the end of the third video, we will show you how to download all of the printed material, about 200 pages of material, which is in the Module 1 course essentially, and that is going to be a, something that we charge $375 for. So we're going to trying to give you this technology for the sake of the animals that you're going to treat. The basis, now I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very quick and it's very easy. The basis of this technology is designed to do one thing, and that's to flip switches from the offside to the onside in the spinal cord of domestic animals. It's particularly easy to do. It is not what you think it is. We're not going to rip and tear and pull and, and push around bones. We do not reset joints, essentially. All we do is we flip switches from the offside to the onside, and that is what chiropractic is in general. Animal adjusting or animal chiropractic, therefore, is in fact a technology where we use lots and lots of different types of technologies to flip the switch from the offside to the onside. It just so happens that if we use an instrument like this that can deliver a huge amount of force in a tiny, tiny amount of mo uh, uh, motion, in a very, very fast frequency, like one millisecond, then we can effectively go through and switch all the switches that are off to the on side. It's, for instance, if we were trying to take this switch, this is like a light switch, and we were basically trying to flip it, and it's turned on, for instance, at this point, we put energy into the switch on the on side, we can't turn the switch anymore on. However, if the switch is flipped off, which is what the body does naturally to protect itself, then we can flip it back on again. And if we have a device that has the ability to do that, to flip the switch on, because it had, delivers enough power quickly enough to do that, then we can go through, evaluate all the spinal segments of the body real quickly, and also determine what's out and also fix it. So this device not only uh, diagnosis is, uh, uh, treats, but it's also a diagnostic tool, which is the reason that we have trained over 8,300 graduate doctors with this technology in the last 15 years. I've personally been doing it for 35 years. It is going to look like it's incredibly easy, like it's too good to be true, and I have to tell you that that's the biggest problem I have to overcome. When I show it to people, they go like, well, it can't be that easy. It is that easy. In the second module, we're going to te teach you why it works essentially and why it's effective and we go into that in module two in the actual course if you so desire. The third video we're going to send to you will actually depict the, uh, the how to schedule it, what to do, and how to actually put it into practice essentially and then it's it's up to you to go ahead and apply it. Like I say over 1500 practitioners have successfully added this technology to their practice without taking any other course but just the information that I am going to give to you. Now, if you're not interested in taking 10 minutes of your life to look at this particular technology, by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll point out that you'll probably spend three times that amount of time either on your Facebook or your email or on Amazon.com just shopping, then I can't I can't do anything for you because you're just too crazy not to understand what it is I'm trying to give you. So I will show you in detail how it is that we do this technique. We'll show it to you on a live animal and hopefully you'll be able to uh, understand how quick and easy and how simple it is. Now this is how we're going to show you how to do this technique. As you remember, what we do is we go ahead and flip the switches from the offside to the onside. What we'll do is we'll take an adjusting instrument like this one. We have them available for you if you're interested. And we'll use an instrument that's able to deliver enough energy per unit time to go ahead and flip these switches on and off, uh, from the offside. We only flip switches that are 
on the offside to the onside. However, you can't, you're going to say, how can we determine which ones are off and which ones are on? Well, we do that with this device too. I would mention to you that all of these devices will work to, re to reduce subluxation. They're all human chiropractic devices. This one is built specifically for animals. It'll do anything from a parakeet up to a percheron. And you cannot re repeat, re cannot use this device. This is a JTEC instrument. It only works about 50% of the time. People call me up all the time and say, how come this device, the VOM technology doesn't work? And it's because they're using this instrument. It's not fast enough and it's not strong enough. It's junk. So you're going to use this device. And the concept is that we're going to go through and provide energy into the vertebral segment of the spinal cord. We're going to get reflexes, which we'll show you on the live animal in a second. But the actual situation is such. Now we come a little bit closer and we'll show you what that's like. The only way, the way for us to provide energy with this device into the spinal segment is done through the bone. So this device delivers energy, it goes through the bone, into the spinal cord, and flips the switch back on again. And so what we need to do is contact the dorsal, the wings of the atlas and the dorsal spinous processes of this skeleton. And so in the live animal, we come on the left side and we fire it uh, on the wing of the atlas, which is right here, towards the contralateral ear. Bam! And then we basically come on to the other side and do the same thing on the other side like this. Bam. And then what we do is we come down on the top of the vertebral segments, all of them, all the way down the spinal cord. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, L7. And then we do the wing of the atla the wing of the ilium on one side and firing it down. Bam. The other front we fire bound. Bam. Oops. And his light, his thing falls off essentially. And then what we do is we come back and we fire the uh, two brachii forward and the other side we fire it forward. And that is the adjustment. That is all that it is that we end up doing essentially. And so this is the adjustment technology. We do that the first time. Let me put his pelvis back on again. We do that the first time and then we do the exact same thing. So the next time, the second pass is click click and then down the spinal cord. The breathing patterns will change. If not a blade, go away. And then the third time, click, click, we do it the three times. We do it three times exactly. We go from head to the tail, just like zip, unzipping a zipper. The central, the CSF of the brain actually moves from here down to here, and the nerves come from here down to there. So we start here, reset the wings of the atlas, and move down the spinal cord. Now we do that for the canine. We do that for the feline. The exact same thing is done for the feline, and we do the exact same thing for the equine. However, we can't get to the dorsal spinous processes in the horse because of the neutral ligament, so we put energy into the horse's uh, uh, vertebral area by going at it from the lateral side. We saw this extensively in Module 3 of the actual course, and we'll show you this a bit more as we do this in, in this condition. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll show you what it looks like on the live animal, and then you'll know exactly how to do this. And you're going to say to yourself, gosh, this is incredibly easy. And it is incredibly easy. I can teach a 13-year-old how to do the technique. So we'll basically now uh, show you what it looks like on the live dog. So this is how we do this on the live animal. This dog basically has back problems associated with running up and down the stairs. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the wing of the atlas. The wing of the atlas is easily palpatable in this area. So we, we set this instrument this way. We crank it all the way up to maximum. We're not going to use it. And then we crank it all the way down two, three, four complete turns. And this is firing at about 17 and a half pounds of force per millisecond. That's not important. This device, we've spin this all the way up. It's nice to have the dog stand up. And we contact the wing of the atlas and fire it like this. And notice that pathological reflex. The reflex that occurred there indicates that the vertebral subluxation is occurring in the left atlanto-occipital area. On the right side, we do the same thing. Notice there was a small amount of reflex there. Now there's two, three. Notice that she reads all the way down the neck but she doesn't. That reads 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going really fast because I've done this a million times. You will. Sometimes it's difficult to palpate these areas because the dog is kind of fat. And then what actually happens then is we're able to go ahead then and show you what it looks like in the lumbars. And so this dog should read in the lumbars too. Um, L1, notice 2, 3, 4 doesn't read. Five reads, six, seven. We have the ilium on one side, left side. Those don't read. That is pass one. Pass two looks like this. Remember this read before? Still reads. Notice it shocks all the way down the left, left leg. The right one also reads two, three, four. Her neck is still pretty well screwed up. 
but notice that some of these have cleared out. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is L1. Notice L1 reads again. Two, three, four. These have cleared out. Five, six, seven. Oh, stand up, PB dog. Wing of the ilium on the right side reads now. On the left side, doesn't read. Tuberitii. Notice the reading pattern has changed, and it also reads on the tuberitii on the left side. Now, pass three looks like this. Notice it still reads. That's a chronic read. This is her, this dog's problem is in the neck. It's almost cleared out on the right side. Two, three. Her neck still reads at three and four, and also at, at C5, which is cervical vertebra, six and seven. This animal has a C, C8 right here, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. L1, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can feel these dorsal spine is seven. We have the ilium on either side have cleared out. This animal has been adjusted the first time. Everything didn't clear out. A lot of times they will in subsequent, uh, subsequent adjustments. They will in fact clear out, but this dog hasn't ever been adjusted. and now gets adjusted essentially, and those reading patterns that you saw are indicative of pathological neurological interferences indicating there are vertebral subluxation complexes, and we're chasing those. As we get rid of these, this animal will heal. There, now that's how we do it. We utilize an instrument like this to flip the switches on that are flipped off in the animal. Essentially, we go through and, and ask every vertebral segment whether or not they are out of quote-unquote adjustment, essentially, and then flip the switch back on. It isn't any more complicated than that. People have always asked me, is that all there is to it? Yeah, that's all there is to it. This is why we can teach just about anybody to do this technology, and they're going to be as successful as I am after having done this for 35 years. Remember, 8,700 doctors have learned this technology, essentially, and are applying this technology as we speak in their practice. These are graduate practitioners that are using this technology anywhere from 10 to 15 times a day. It is profitable, it is safe, and has 91 to 93% success. Now, we're going to send you two more emails associated with videos that show you why this works, why it's so simple, and why it's so powerful, and then finally, how to apply this in your practice. And we add, we basically give you this information based on the fact that I want to give back to my profession this technology as I'm semi-retired here. And the point is also that this particular technology is going to be a valuable subspecialty in your practice, something that you'll never put down. Also, in the end of the third email, we'll show you how to download all the materials for uh, module one for free, which we usually charge $375 for. Again, it's an attempt to try to get you to look at this technology. Now we have modules two, three, four, five, six, and seven, essentially, where's the huge body of information on how to apply this technology. But right off the bat now, you can start using this technique and applying it to animals and solving their problems without having to learn a whole lot more than just how to do it, essentially. And so um, this is a gift for me to you, and I hope you take advantage of it. You can contact me at 888-935-4866, uh, uh, and I will answer my own phone. Or you can go to the website, which is vomtech, V-O-M-T-E-C-H dot com, and I'll be happy to answer your email. However, I'll be delighted to talk to you on the phone. That's 888-935-4VOM-4866. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.